living there for about three days now. Okay, are you injured? Uh, yeah, they punched me in my face, they choked me out, ripped my clothes, tried to steal thousands of dollars worth of my stuff. It's all out in front of the house. They're, well, they're waiting in the house to talk to you guys. How many people are in the house? Two people. Okay. One of them held me down while the other one punched me in my face, and they tried to steal my stuff. And okay. you guys took 45 minutes to get out here. Okay, uh, listen to me. First of all, I'm not on your time watch. I know. Second of all, second of all, second of all, second of all, U.S. soldier, bro. Are you know who you're are, talking are, to? Are, okay. Are you, know who are you're you talking to? Face? Are you getting in my face? You step forward to me. Okay. I did not step forward to, to, you. to you. I know who I'm talking to, and you're down. You understand that? So you're talking to a United States Marine. You understand that? I'm talking to a U.S. soldier. Okay, you're talking to a Marine. So I suggest that you never step up and get in my face again when I'm talking to you. Do you understand me? So let's start over. Let's you start know, over. The act can stop. Let's start over. Are we clear? Let's start over. Are we clear? Let's start over. Are we clear? Right. Are you done? Are you finished? Are you done? Yeah. Are you finished? Yeah. Are you finished? Yeah. Okay, would you like to start over? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, unclench your fist, uh, young Unclench man. your fist. Now let's start. Would you like to start over or do I need to, do I need to further introduce I'm myself? I'm completely done. I'm completely done. I don't need to further introduce myself? Breathe. Okay. I can't breathe. Uh, stand up, son. Uh, now put your cigarette out like I asked you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now stand up. Now are you familiar with who you're talking to? Yes, sir. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Give me your hands behind your back. I didn't mean to cause any problems, okay. sir. First of all, when I'm talking to you, don't ever get in my face and posture up the way that you did. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. So we're not going to have this happen again, right? Yes, sir. Okay. How are you? Oh. I'm sorry, sir. Well, I accept your apology. But you need to understand this. You're not going to sit here and get in my face and then posture up on me when we're face to face. Yes, sir. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Because it's going to end badly sorry, for you. sir. I'm just angry. Okay. Well, we can start over. I accept your apology. Now, let's go see what's going on up here. Yes, sir. I mean, is your ID in your wallet there, Blake? No, it's not. The fucking... Uh, Step the, over to the front of my office right there, sir. I have, uh, I have an ID in my... You have head. a DOD ID in here or anything? No, I don't have any ID. That fucking uh, cop company has it. I had to give it to him last night because my debit card wouldn't work. Who has it? Uh, 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 Black Tie Taxi Cash. Uh, five out of eight. Uh, is there anyone else injured in there? No, I'm the only one injured. I mean, you can have uh, fire or medics come in if you want. There's... The guy just has a busted lip. I don't know if they want to look at him or not. Well, firm, tell them to come in the gate and come down and make a left all the way at the last uh, turn in. Uh, they'll see the uh, vehicle here. What was all that on the ground you did? Was that what was all that moaning and stuff you did on the ground? Was that because my knee was in your center of your chest and you were having a hard time? Okay. Well, what was all that you just did on the ground? Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, since you got all soldiered up on me, I'm going to document my contact with you. Okay. But I don't think I'm going to charge you with it, but I'm going to document it because I had to use physical force to maintain control of this situation. I'm sorry, sir. Do you understand that? I will not force you to do that again. Okay. Is there any reason why you felt that you could do that to a police officer and because then... Because I tried to speak with your watch commander and your watch commander told me fuck you and hung up on me about 20 minutes I, ago. First of all, I don't believe that because Lieutenant Mortensen is extremely professional and well respected. I left him a voicemail too, Okay, sir. well the watch commander did not use profanity at you over the telephone, so that's lie number one. We are a professional, hard-working agency. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right. So what we're going to do is have the ambulance come take a look at you. And then I'm going to get all of his information and just document a, a 148, 849B type thing. Sorry, sir. Uh-huh.
all my stuff is over there in front of the house, though. Let me get my notebook out. Oh, you got yours in the uh, front seat, don't you? Notebook in here? Yes. You apologize. He's uh, used to dealing with Napa. Oh, is that what you said? Oh. So you get in Napa police officers' faces and... No, but they don't step up to you either. Well, I don't like to yell at you. That's why I took a step towards you to talk to you. Can I sit down? Yeah. If you feel more comfortable, you can sit down. Okay, uh... Also, what branch of the military were you in? The 21 Bravo Combat Engineer Army Reserves. The Reserves. Okay. Is it Blake, what's your first name? Yes, sir. Blake, what's your last name? Robles, R-O-B-L-E-S. What's your birthday, Blake? 12 years. What's your address here? 145? 145, White House Drive. Do you have a phone number? 707. 707. 